Well, Catherine was a great student. Um, I don't know why, she, she seems to be called Cat by everyone. So um, she came and she's one of those students where she's got, got a high GCC average, which, which in many cases means a student's very bright and able, but in some cases it, it just means that they're very good at a particular level of, of study and, and exceptionally good at GCSE level, which is much more descriptive and just learning. But, but what Kat really brought to AS Biology was the ability to, to see patterns and interrogate data. She's, she's just a natural science student. She's, she's going off to do uh, chemical engineering at university and she's got that real maths chemistry edge to her. Um, well, in biology and chemistry there's clearly maths in all the equations and calculations. In biology there's lots of chemistry with sort of molecular formulas and stuff and then when things react one to another you can also think how did it do that in sort of a chemistry way. But there's also a lot of biology that's like that's not strictly chemistry. <laughs> we wouldn't get away with that. <laughs> she just is comfortable with science. She, she, she doesn't find it hard to pick up patterns. She doesn't find it hard to ask the right kind of questions. Very thoughtful and very probing. Um, but although a lot of her success is down to the fact that she's, she's very gifted naturally, she's also someone who put the work in. She, she slogged it. Um, so she's got that combination of the ability to work hard and that natural science ability to, to really get to grips with data and it's just a winning combination. So in terms of her UMS score, out of 100 first years, she got the highest score and that's why she's our very worthy prize winner. Since I was quite little I've had this image of me in a fitted suit with a lab coat on and I just want to do that. <laughs>